B-Side Word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinion on interesting articles. I'm Devon and I'm here with Emma. Hello. Maxi. Hello. And for the first time remotely, CJ. Hello. Oh, it's so different having CJ not in the studio. Yeah, that energy. That like it's, it's combination really... of nervous and um, confident <laughs> energy. <laughs> Our first article for this week is again on that brown matter that we love to talk about all the time. Um, but this time it's in the realm of fecal transplants. <laughs> Has anyone ever heard of that? Fecal transplants? I had to reread the heading. I don't even know who put this article in. But I was like, wait, what? I'd never heard of this in my entire life. But basically, so. a fecal transplant is when a doctor transplants feces from another person, from a healthy donor into another person. Why? What? Yeah. It's to basically try and restore the balance of bacteria in yeah. their gut. Yeah. And like it can treat infections and like other conditions caused by like antibiotics and stuff um so they actually get a i don't know who donors for this and if they get paid or what but they get poo from someone and shove it in someone else yes to, do, do to, you know what i can make a i can make a fortune of that <laughs> i'm full of shit no no but, <laughs> but like, i've never like it's not like giving blood right who gives the who gives the poo no, no, yeah, people with healthy guts give the poo. But why? Because people have bad gut, like their um, inside of the guts is bad. They but have an unhealthy gut. Have you ever seen an ad for this? Like, we need your poo. Yeah. Have you? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was going to say, I've never. That's what I mean. Like, you see blood donation clinics and whatever. But well, is, blood donations obviously are very. Um, in demand thing, isn't it? That's where true. every time they anybody loses blood, that happens. But how often do they have to restore the bacteria in somebody's gut? I don't know. Maybe they do do it a lot, but maybe they ha- do do. I said do do in this article. <laughs> anyway, do do. Maybe they do do this a lot, and they. But because like poo is a lot easier to take, they just go to another hospital patient and like, hey, or maybe the nurses just pop them out. Oh, <laughs> you, you know what? Just it's saying like, that. Just saying needs- that, right? You can make up to $13,000 a year by sitting on the loo. Like, you can earn what? up to $50 by donating your poo. <gasps> oh, where do you what? donate it? I'm about, to, I'm, I'm about to make it rain. So, there's a place. There's a, <laughs> there's a place in um, Five Dock in Sydney what? called the Center of Digestive Diseases. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's right next to the center of digestive biscuits, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, no way. Yeah, poo transplant capsules uh, oh, being mate. trialed out. So, so, uh, can capsules. you text me the address? I need to make a bit of extra money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, $13,000. $13,000. a year. Dollars. Yeah, so yeah. you can earn up to $250 a week and help fight nasty diseases. Oh, mate, I help fight heaps of money. Mate, what are the conditions? Can you see what the preconditions are? Do you have to have like a um, good diet and? I think you have to have a healthy gut. I think like you you give a. I've got a healthy size gut. <laughs> healthy size gut. <laughs> this is the most bizarre thing. I've never heard of this, but apparently, according to the article, which is on Medical News Today, this goes. This is an ancient Chinese tradition. Well, not tradition, but medicine practice. From 1700, 1,700 years ago. But instead of doing it the modern way through a colonoscopy or an enema, they used to actually drink a liquid suspension of it. Wow. Oh. Yeah, which is obviously risky. Um, I bet not it very tastes sterile. Like shit. <laughs> 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 but yeah, apparently this has been going on. Oh. I'm just no, thinking, like, I can't, ha- I can't eat anything that I don't like the smell of. Imagine like that. Oh. You, don't, you know, you don't eat it. Yeah, they're saying that they used to drink it. What are you talking Same. about? You don't in eat China, it. In China, 
This has been going on for 1,700 years and they didn't have do colonoscopy. No, I think the transplant goes straight into your gut. Now, oh, yeah, okay. but now back in does, the day in China, before. they had to drink it. All right, I wasn't paying attention. I was still reading oh. this article. Okay. Obviously. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, hope, yeah. I hope you got some good stuff to bring to us. I don't. You, yeah, you so, zoned out there so, so, for so, 10 minutes. So what have you learned? So um, <laughs> the these enemas, I mean, these fecal transplants have actually doubled in, I don't know, over the past, I don't know how many years, right? But it, it can cost up to $700 each what, time. to get it done? To get an enema done. Yeah, transplant enema done. So that means the person who, pooing's who, being who does ripped it cost? off. Uh, the person that needs the transplant. So someone shoves up an enema and it costs you 700 bucks. Okay. At the extraction of the of the poo, how, how's that? Is it like 50 normal, bucks. N- n- normal extraction way? Extraction of the poo. <laughs> yeah. you, don't, you think they have to... <laughs> I, I, I want to know if they have, to, they have to put a hose up your butt. Because if they do, <laughs> I am not so keen on it anymore. <laughs> if it's, Why if it's would they do that? Oh, this if, if I'm sitting on a toilet... Mate, go, go. Yep, good. Why? Thirty thousand dollars. Well, apparently, bucks. Do you not have in in Australia? Do you not have something called Yakult? Yes. yes. Does Yakult not do the trick? Mm, I think <sighs> you're gone. You're too far Maybe gone. You're too far gone. You need the hard reset. Turn mm. off and on, <laughs> mm-hmm. like a computer. But yeah. this treats seven hundred um, dollars a bit cheap though. You get a lot of Yakults for seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I mean. Like, if they're only paying fifty dollars awesome for the actual poo, yeah, and you're paying seven hundred, they're making an absolute killing. Yeah, I don't think they just get the poo and then they just put in someone else. I think they do the process of getting the microbes yeah. and stuff. Uh-huh. It's just not taking the poo, making it in a milkshake, and go right. But Emma, Emma, don't don't go to the hospital. Come straight to me. I'll give you a straight for two fifty. Two fifty. Just straight two fifty. Here you go. Oh Have a big God. chunk of poo. Yeah, I didn't think so, about that. So I think I think. Um, all like all different kinds of diets are required, like vegetarians, oh. vegans, oh. meat, just like different, yeah. And depending if they've got a healthy, healthy gut. So there was a a yeah. person, a person that was gonna help her friends, for her friends out, and she didn't know about this transplant, but she ended up, she's she's doing it now, and she's earning two hundred dollars a week just for pooing. I mean, everyone does it. Everyone does it. Everyone does. Oh, no, everyone. Pays. Everyone poos. So, like, why not? Why not get paid to? Maybe, Poo. and you don't have to buy toilet paper. You can just use their stuff. <gasps> Wait, do you have to go there and do it? Oh, I don't know. Or do they give you like what the doctors give you? Uh, oh, if they give us what the doctors give us, I'll be extremely happy. I'll be sitting in my toilet with my paper, <laughs> re- <laughs> reading, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, two fifty. <laughs> Oh, Popping out two fifties here, mate. Apparently, you'd, you'd like start eating things that like promote bigger ones, eh? But apparently, uh, <laughs> they Drop, use these transplants <laughs> in the USA to tr- primarily to treat C difficile associated dis- disease (CDAD), which kills about fifteen thousand people a year due to a severe colon inflammation. So it actually is killing people. These gut issues How, 15 000 people a year mm-hmm. well worldwide this is just in the states just in the states yeah die from cdad wow, wow. yeah that's weird i've never that seems like quite a big chunk i know yeah so there you go if anyone's struggling at the moment which a lot of people are this is one option no, i don't think you can do it now why the... oh yeah nah bad idea uh, you have to distance yourself from the social distance yourself from the toilet. Yeah, no, can't do it now. <laughs> but in the future, you should be able to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'm lo- I once this is over, I'm looking it up. Wait, I'm would like, you do um, it? Let's ask. CJ, would you do this? Oh, yeah. Easiest money I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Maxi, would you do it? Yeah, why not? Why? <sighs> Dev, I don't would know you do what it? actively seek out to, to find it, though. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, what was I, that, what I, was that I, Maxi? I, I don't know if I'd like actively like how, how can I find a way to do this. But if it was like an easy, do you want to do this? Yes or no? I'd be like, yeah. Like, yeah, what's not, the, eh? it's yeah. helping someone. Yeah, and I just do what I normally do. Yeah. Apart from, I guess I got to pick it up afterwards. So, so is there any difference? <laughs> Wait, do they have um? So CJ, you like, do they put pieces of paper underneath? Do you fill up your toilet so that of it what? doesn't hit? You don't want it to hit the water, dear. They'll be contaminated. 
I don't know, dude. I don't do this. Oh, I thought you've done it. <laughs> Wait, did you think no. CJ's done it? Yeah, he said, oh, I'll put my... I, I would do it in a heartbeat. No, he said I'll get oh. my paper, like, to read his paper. Oh, <laughs> I thought he said he could put his paper in the toilet. Oh, no, okay. No, I'll get my newspaper out, read my newspaper, as I am, oh. you know, making some money. <laughs> there you go. Just looking on the internet on your iPhone saying, oh, what am I going to buy with my $250? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounded more like 300. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, There's a bit of chili in this one. (laughs) But just um, just a thing, if you're thinking about moving your stool across state borders, don't because it's illegal in in Australia. It's illegal. So, is there a black? What you're saying is, if I had like, if I needed to go toilet and I'm on the border between New South Wales and Queensland, <laughs> me going that's, across that's is That's a hell illegal. of a scenario. <laughs> but yes, if you're in New South Wales and the border of New South Wales, you can't transfer your stool to Queensland. So if uh, I go one Bruin, externally transport. <laughs> yeah, externally transport. Yes, you can, you can have a shit inside you in New South Wales, walk across and have a shit in <laughs> Queensland, that's okay. <laughs> but you can't shit sure? in New South Wales and carry it across. <laughs> <laughs> but what if, um, what if, like, you know, like heroin addicts and stuff, sometimes they stick some up their ass <laughs> to transport it. What if, oh. what if you did that with your shit? Oh. <laughs> what if you did that with somebody else's shit? Because then it's oh. not your shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's say you live on the border, right? <laughs> and, and you've taken your dog for a walk. And you've done the good, the correct thing and picking it up, the plastic bag, but you oh. live on the other side of the border. Wait, your dog's one. Dog poo. Yeah. Is that illegal? Yeah, I'm not sure. See, I'm questions. just, I'm just worried about the human poo. But Wait, I guess could this be done with dogs as well? No. Like, can they help each other out? Black market. So we just pick it up and then take it to the vet, and they use it for another dog. That's sick. Oh well, yeah, I guess dog with dog. Yeah, I guess so. I, I was just going to say, with my dog, if she, if she sees a carpet, she'll shit on it. So it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's, a, she's a bright one. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. This week on Max Facts. 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 <laughs> okay. I've got one fact. It might be obvious. I don't know. And if, if so, then I'll use a backup fact. But the first one is, do you know in what year Nelson Mandela was removed from the US terror watch list? The watch list? Ooh. Goodness I didn't gracious. Even know he was on the- he in prison? Yeah, I don't even know who's on the list. I don't know the years. I don't know the years. Don't, I don't years? know the years. I don't know the years he was in prison. Um, let's say. Okay. Let me say nineteen eighty nine. Um, Nelson 80, Mandela was 80, released. Nelson Mandela was spent twenty seven years in prison, and he was released in nineteen ninety. Okay. Let me say so 1991. 19. So what year was he removed from the US terror watch list? Terrorist watch list. I'm saying the year 2K. The year 2K? Yeah. 2000. Yeah. W- what was the year he won the um presidency of South Africa? Okay. I'm going with that year. No, I reckon they'd have still had him on the list then. So let, okay, let me. I'll give you a little nah. rundown of Nelson Mandela facts, so then we can try and like okay. put it. So he he died in 2013, right? Are you cheating, Dev? No. Yes. He died in 2013. Uh, wow. Yep. Let's see when his peace prize was. Nelson Mandela Time's peace prize. Past. Yeah. 1993, he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Right. So. Okay. That's 20 years before he died, and then when did he become president? Hmm. He became president in 1994 till 1999. I say 94. 2000. 
Wait, wait, he's, he was already president. How could he be on the watch list? So if he, he was, was released president? from jail in 1990, become president in 1994 to 1999. During that time, he wins the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993, just before he becomes president, and then he dies in 2013. So it could be um, 93, 92, when did, 93? When was he removed from the US terror watch list? I still say 2K because I feel like they've got some rule that reckon, says 10 oh, years after release from maybe, prison. Maybe um, on his death, on the year of his death, oh, 2013. Yeah. Could be that. You might be in for a chance. That's what the guy could have been signing. The release of his um, oh. watch list. He <laughs> 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 was, was dabbing it out like, you can release him now. <laughs> no more right. I'll say 2012. I'll say 2012. What, the year before he died? I'm saying 94 Maybe. or 93. Maybe 93. I'm saying uh, I got 2K. I'm saying 93 or 2013. All right. Mine's 2K or 2013. The answer is 2008. Aww. What? That was so random. How come? I don't know. But that's also the year Obama joined, became president. If that's, uh... There you go. Oh, why didn't I link that? Barack. 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 Barack took him off the list. So- so, so hold on here. He wins the Nobel Peace Peace Prize mm-hmm. and is still on the terror watch list. Yes. How could you win the Peace Prize <laughs> and be on a terror watch list at the same time? <laughs> it's kind I of ironic. Know. Does anyone else find that confusing? <laughs> that, that's a hell of an achievement, I tell you. I know. Like if that, if that fact, um, if a trivia comes along and goes, who was on the watch list? And Nelson Mandela, two thousand and eight, <laughs> taken off. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even finish the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone's in isolation. And isolation! Unfortunately, <laughs> that means sometimes some people are going to be in isolation with other people. Isolation! Right? Yeah. <laughs> This one guy, his name is Hillier. Yeah. I don't know if that's his first name or surname. He had a fiance. Yes. And he moved from Brazil to England, I think. <laughs> yes. I think, yeah, no, he moved from England to Brazil to marry his fiance, Octavio Santos. Wow. Right? Wow. Sounds exotic. Now, what a life yeah. he's living. Right? Yeah, it sounds sexy to be honest with you. That's a, that's a sexy name. So <laughs> basically, yes, they were in an open relationship, but they were still they were planning to get married. Okay, so he's moved across the world from his fiance. Two weeks before the wedding, COVID isolation hits. Yes, isolation. And he found out that Octavio was being quarantined with a, another man. Dun, dun, dun. And he had cheated on Hillia with this other man. Dun, dun, dun. And okay, now... I'm very confused. Poor Hillia is by himself in quarantine, just with the company of a dog, whilst his future husband is shacked Hold up. On. So they're both men. Hold on. <laughs> Is it, three, is it three guys? Yes. Or is it two guys and a girl? Three, there are three guys. guys, and you think one's got a very sexy name, Siege. <laughs> well, I take that back. <laughs> Wait, who's got realized... a sexy name, Octavio? <laughs> Octavio Santos. <laughs> I mean, we can we can play that back. We can loop it a few times because you seem to really think that was a sexy name, Siege. <laughs> what was the name again? I heard the Santos. Octavio <laughs> Santos. <laughs> It was it was Phil. It was Phil Taylor. Oh. <laughs> Gary. The Santos are like, that's cool. That's quite that's that's quite a cool name. <laughs> oh, you changed the first part. CJ's changing his tone. <laughs> so basically, guys, Hillia had even <laughs> Hillia? That sounds like a girl's name. <laughs> Not Hillary. <laughs> children more muscular names in Brazil. <laughs> so basically, Hilia left his whole life. He even brought his mum and like his sister out to Brazil to help with the wedding plans. You know, it was yeah, just around yeah. the corner. The other man identified as Nathan 
was a mutual friend of what theirs. Do you, what do you think about that name, Siege? <laughs> <laughs> What was it again? I want to make sure I heard it correctly. <laughs> they Nathan. even had planned to go all the way Nathan? together as well. No, no, not as sexy as the Santos. <laughs> <laughs> but the dog, Santos's dog couldn't go, right? So Hilliard just offered to stay in the apartment to look after the dog so Octavio could still go and have a good time, right? So <laughs> Hilia then tells Santos, I'm not feeling very well. And he had a high fever. Hillier tells him, oh, Santos told Hillier he's not feeling very well. He had high fever. Hillier tells him, go get, go get tested, right? Go to the hospital immediately. Then Santos was forced to tell Hillier, okay, I've now been quarantined in Nathan's apartment and basically came clean. That he cheated. Yeah. And now the what? wedding's off, guys. Mm. The wedding Hold is on. off. This is the most uh, who's who? Story. Who? Yeah, so who's Hil- who? Hillary Isn't is Hillier in England. Santos? No, Hillary no, Hillia is Hillia from England. Is from and England. Now he's in Brazil. No, okay. I thought Hillary, Hillary, Hillary stayed in England. No, no, no. He went to Brazil. I, I thought it was Hillier de Santos. <laughs> <laughs> Octavia and Hillier are together in England, and then Octavia went to Brazil and cheated on <laughs> Hilly with Nathan, no. and then got quarantined. That's what I thought you said. No, no. What so, is it then? Hilia, so Santos lives in Brazil. Hilia left England and went to Brazil. They were all going to go on a little holiday to Rio um, with Nathan, their mutual friend. But because okay. of the dog, Hilia stayed behind to look after the dog and the other two went, right? Oh, so Hilia's staying behind, but she's in Brazil. he's in Brazil somewhere still. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. And he'd brought his family out and everything. Now, Santos isn't due to leave quarantine until the day before their wedding. But he's just like, I can't believe he cheated on me with this guy during their weekend away. And now they're both quarantined together. I can't even call him properly to like sort this all out. The wedding is postponed. Oh, so it's not off. Okay, okay hold on here. Postponed. The, in the beginning of this, I heard you say they had an open relationship, right? They did, but... So then what's the, what's the big deal? <laughs> because I think this is just like put a massive spanner in the works, like because he's quarantined with him. For it sounds two like whole one of them weeks. was just a bit upset because they didn't get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just left Maybe. with a dog. But this is just one case of you know. <laughs> no comments. He's going through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what kind of dog is it? <laughs> 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 what is our podcast to <laughs> do? <laughs> Uh, for some reason, I, I don't think this is going to make the cut. <laughs> We've gone into bestiality now. <laughs> oh, goodness oh, no. gracious me. But the, but he said the wedding's postponed, though, not um, called off. Well, at first it said it was called off, and then later it said postponed. Maybe he made the postponed statement, and then he decided to call it off. Maybe. Did this article's been confusing. Yeah, this is, I'm not, because mo- all weddings have been postponed, basically. So it just sounds like it's a normal yeah. postponement. Postponation? Is that a word? Oh no, he was like, <laughs> we're, we're not doing this right now. I don't know what the future holds. I just He just wants to see him in person and talk. He's just still too angry to think about it. Uh, What's okay. it in an rela- open relationship? Okay, but I feel like, like if you're in an open, open relationship, relationship sort of like, you know? yeah, but if you're in yeah. an open relationship and you've got wedding plans just around the corner, does that... Yeah. Like... Does the old okay. rules not, not count no. anymore? And unless they're both discussed that they're going to change their arrangement, then no. Hmm. Siege, I like I'm how you... for the cheating person. I like how you've taken real interest in this because you thought Octavia is really, really, really hot. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I know, honestly, I thought Octavia was a chick. <laughs> that's, a cool, that's a cool name, Octavia de Santos. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of this tanned young lady with big boobs, <laughs> butt shaking it in a. Because it's Octavio, Octavio. Uh, okay, do you want right, to do the like, Triscuits like one? Like another Mardi Gras thing, the, the um, Brazilian Mardi Gras. Yeah. One of those girls. I was, I was thinking, I had that picture in my mind. I was like, mm, that sounds good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> am I being in quarantine of that? Ah. <laughs> uh. That was a good one. I, I like I, I that. Got, I got something similar, similar from a drag show. I, I, the only reason <laughs> I like that article is because of the confusion. Oh, 
Okay. Everybody is familiar, I'm assuming, other than Dev, with uh, team meetings being held on Zoom or Microsoft <laughs> Teams at other the moment. Other than Dev's. <laughs> Well, because Dev is still working outside. He's 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 a he's a outside worker still at the moment. Yeah. Um so You're a hero, you Dev. Him. Hero. But you've you've walked Mariah into Carey. the into the room when I've been on one of my meetings, so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So has everyone seen the meeting where the girl The naked guy forgets no? I haven't oh, seen that. Okay, one. there was one, I think. A guy Ha- forgot he had his camera on, and he's yeah. gotten up to get a drink, <gasps> and he 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 had free, he freed the willy. <gasps> freed the willy. <laughs> no way. Wait, what? Wait, did he have no clothes on at all? Yeah, who's Starkers? He thought he had the camera turned off. <gasps> so, but wait, so even before he stood up, he was just bare top as well. Yeah, he was on his head showing. Oh, so they didn't they didn't realize. It was like um, what's it called? But then he got up and he um showed showed his other head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow. I feel like that's and worse. all the girls are laughing on the on the call, and trying to, and yelling out, "You've got your cameras on, your cameras on." <gasps> did he then embrace it from then, or is he, did he get embarrassed? What's the um, what's the reaction? No, because he, he had to walk to get a drink. He, he, had, he had a notice that they've seen his willy. Oh, man. Oh, my well, do you, if, if that happens, right, and then, like, say if he puts something on that comes back, now he, now he's clothed and he comes back, do you then tell him that you saw him naked or do you, everyone just say, let's not say anything, let's just pretend that never <laughs> happened? No, no, what you say is, nice pants, I like that color on you. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like that one. That that could possibly be worse, but maybe not than this lady, which I, I think a lot of people have seen. She doesn't realize she's on camera and she starts walking down the hallway, at which point people are already sort of smirking because usually people don't walk around. So they just sit at their desk. So she smir- she's like walking around and there's already this one guy who's like, like, where is she going? Anyway, she puts the, the camera down on the floor, props it up somewhere and sits on the, and pulls her pants down and sits on the loo. Yeah, right? that's that's uh, that's gone around. Have you have you guys seen that? I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it, CJ? What? She no, sits what on it? the loo, right? Yeah. And then everyone in the video in the meetings like starts giggling. But all of them were girls, pretty much, except for one bloke. Two, two, oh, two, two blokes, guys, yeah. two guys, and the rest were girls. And then she yeah. realizes and just like knocks her phone down and then like goes, I gotta go. And the <laughs> others were just like, and then the person talking, I totally think she knew about it, but she pretended like she didn't know what was going on. She's like, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know. Cause oh, I, when I watched the, the person talking, she was talking like in a completely normal voice as, as if nothing was, was happening the whole time until the very I end. I feel like she I get did the feeling sort of. When people talk on those meetings, I think they often look at themselves as well rather than. So she's probably oh, looking yeah. at me like, oh, look at me talking. Oh, yeah, I look really in power. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, look at this. Mm. And then, um, so you got those ones. You've got, you got celebrities like Hamish over here. Hamish Blake is a comedian dropping in on people's Zoom sessions out of the blue. Is he? <laughs> yes. So they'll just be having like a random meeting and then he'll, be, he'll just drop in and be like, yes, yeah, so from you know from the accounting side of things i think that uh, just like just random stuff every call he'll do random stuff and pretend he's someone and then they'll clock on to who he is huh how do you find these zoom meetings i think people invite him like on the radio it might say i don't know or on the website whatever and one of the office people invites (laughs) him on so one of them (laughs) knows about it that's pretty crazy that's really crazy i reckon yeah just like that'd be pretty cool they're pretty like someone famous just rocking up. Yeah. Like imagine the rock just all of a sudden just starts um, taking over your meeting and stuff, and you're like, "What the hell?" What, is imagine the rock on? just so popped funny. up now on the podcast. Imagine we're just talking. Oh, and the rock pops up the best. That's the best. I'm like, "Hey, rock, so... meet Pebble." <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! That's going a long way back. Uh, our OG <laughs> listeners would know that. <laughs> OG <laughs> man, that is way way. Yeah, Wait, gosh, was that, that was a long time. What's that ago. episode four? That's oh, got to be episode four. I don't like know. Like 50 episodes Was ago it me now. that said it? I don't know. No, everyone said it. Everyone had a go at me that night. 
the pebble, the pebble. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And lastly, this one guy just used a selfie and thought he could get away with it. Yes, I saw that one. So that was um that was during the class. The student, Instead, the student, yeah. he took a photo of himself and he just posted that in front of the camera and he left. <laughs> he left. So he jig class by just putting this photo of him on the webcam. But that's not, not even moving. Not no. even moving. Did, Not even a little why bit. Why didn't he record himself in front of it? Just and moving then like this. It? Yeah, you just put like a gif. Just like a Yeah. A <laughs> continuing one. <laughs> Except you're stuffed if they ask you a question, that's the only thing. Well if but, um yeah, I guess. Mm. I don't know how to get over that uh, one. You can, can you can you still hire nerds to answer a question on your behalf in that can you <laughs> You can get the computer iPad robot. Remember they attend <laughs> meetings on your behalf <laughs> and it has your face there. Oh, but that's oh, the same. Okay. It's the same. That's exactly the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. You just, you just used another webcam on, a, on your, <laughs> to be I somewhere else. I'm going to Skype true. this Zoom meeting by going into a different room and recording myself <laughs> to go into my other room. <laughs> so then present to my teacher. Uh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. Oh, goodness. Anyway. But do you want to yeah, hear a, a very, this has been a very nice article, but a very dark, <gasps> sick thing that happened on this? Yes. No. In Norway, there was a, a <laughs> they were like teaching children, right? Um. So I don't know, maybe uh, there were like 14, 15 year olds. Or, were they younger? Maybe 12, 13 year olds. And then this man was just jumped into their call, like you said the celebrities were, but he was like completely naked and masturbated <gasps> in front of all of these kids. <gasps> That's horrible. And there was, so there's like 50 or so kids that just saw this guy and then obviously they can't, they just shut the call down like as quickly as they could, but then the kids are commenting like, what the hell was that, you know? Did they catch the Wait. guy? No, from what we've seen in the, could we read it through like newspapers or like online? We, could, we couldn't see that they... Caught him because they didn't know how, like, like, what can you do? I don't know if Zoom can trace that. So they're going to talk to Zoom. So there's like, hackers that are just getting into people's... Being. What's the masturbate? What's the jump in on a call masturbating in front of children? No sicko. idea. You're, you're right. A sicko. That is absolutely filthy. <laughs> I didn't know that you could even... So that means... Oh, God, that's a bit scary. Do, do you cause... remember when we had that meeting with the... Th- um, with the the kid play doctor, the kids play doctor. Mm. And then remember that lady that came on during our <gasps> meeting? Yeah. But see, she had the code. Like you have to have the link to get in. Yeah. That's so, what I'm saying. So how hard is it to find the code? Because we had yeah. a meeting yeah, and it was the end of the in. meeting and the next customer just appeared on or our screen. Came in, yeah. oh, that's client. And then she was like, oh, oh, <laughs> like <laughs> the psychologist quickly closed her one down. She was like, I didn't know they could do that. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> And now it's time for Alexander's riddle of the day. Except he's not here. So and we do it weekly. It. Emma's riddle of the day. <laughs> riddle of the week. Riddle of the week. Ready? What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and a <laughs> poorly dressed man on a unicycle? What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and... A fully dressed man on a, a uni- poorly dressed man. Oh, a poorly dressed man on a unicycle. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of differences. Yeah. Number of wheels, outfit, I'd imagine. Um, I'm looking for a one word answer. You have till next week. What? <laughs> we have to wait until next wait, week. Wait, is that what you're doing? Is that what we're doing? One, one, one's in a circus? Forgive me, this is our first time with this segment. A well-dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle. One word answer. One word answer. Clown? (laughs) 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 One word answer. That's throwing me off a lot. Yeah. So what is the one word? Wait, do you want me to tell you? Are we all going to give up or are we going to... I want to no, know Do today. you have a guess? Yeah, do you, do you, do you have a guess? Do you have a, any idea, guys? Oh. Not, uh, not, I feel like I'm not even close. I don't know if I'm even thinking the right way. Yeah. Cycle. Ah, the fly 
guy is drinking my wine. Emma, we're in a we're in the middle of something, mate. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Who's drinking your wine? I was just going to drink my, gl- my wine without looking, and good job I looked. We're we're in the middle of something. <laughs> sorry. So what's the difference between Emma drinking her wine and the fly drinking her wine? <laughs> One word answer. <laughs> At least One word it. answer. The fly is drunk. <laughs> a unicycle, a uni poorly unicycle, and a well dressed cyclist. What? What was the? Oh you know? yeah, I guess so. What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle? Well. No. Ah. Bank bank I'm account? Looking. No. Um I don't know. I can't give I don't a know. one word answer for that. Yeah. They're both cycle they're both they're both cyclists. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, are you giving Real- up? Building on that, see. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Like, I'm <laughs> thinking of what's the same to point out the difference. Oh, okay. So they're both, they're men. both men. Both, both cyclists. Men, both cyclists. They're both. Yeah. One's they're well, both and one's poorly. They're both dressed. Well, one's poorly dressed, so maybe he's not quite got his t-shirt on properly. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, this is such a stupid riddle. Oh. Yeah. Oh. When we get the answer, it better be a good answer, otherwise we're not putting it out. <laughs> it better be a good yeah. answer. Alexander, it better be a good answer. Oh, my goodness. What's Did the Alex answer? What is it? No. Oh, okay, this well. is your one? Yeah. Oh, what is it? What's the answer? Attire. Oh. <laughs> like, attire. But <laughs> that attire. is a good one. That is brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is so good. I was so convinced that like was going to be a bad riddle. I was like, this cannot be a good riddle. Me too. This yeah, is going to be was shit. Was it good? That's a, oh, that was good. Yeah. That's a that solid good. answer. Okay, this is actually Alexander's article. It's a, it's a tweet. You know, her listed of his tweet. Loves his tweet. Um, I'm going to try and make sense of it. But right. basically, it's about Triscuits. What are Triscuits? Triscuits? Well, we don't have them here. I don't know if they have them in Norway or in England, but in America they do. And to me, it looks like like crackers almost. So made with sea salt, <laughs> um, baked whole grain wheat crackers, right? So but, they're just crackers. Right. They're crackers. crackers. But they're called Triscuits, right? Yeah. So this hey, guy. The crackers sound whose, sexy. Whose Twitter account is <laughs> at Sage Boggs um, says this he goes okay buckle up i want to talk to you about triscuit he goes several years ago i was at a party and i spotted a box of triscuits and he won he wondered what the hell does triscuits mean he's like clearly it's based off the word biscuit but what does the tri mean right (laughs) the try the try so he started investigating what this meant right he googled it he didn't really get an official answer so he emailed the um the source, the the makers, Nabisco. <laughs> yeah. They said, thanks for your interest in our Triscuit crackers. No business record survived, which specifically explains the origin or inspiration for the name Triscuit. But we do name the name. We do know the name was chosen as a fun der- derivation. I don't know how to pronounce that. Of the word biscuit. The try does not mean three. Right? So he's like, wait, what? <laughs> what a cop I'm still out. not, yeah, like that has not fulfilled my... Itch. Yeah, right? So he digs deeper and he found an old article. Yeah. An early Triscuit advertisement, right? And yeah. it, this is what it says. Right. Triscuit, baked by electricity. Yeah. And then it says it says what it is, you know, Triscuit's the newest Best creation, blah, 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 blah. Eaten with cream, fruit, juices, as toast, blah, blah, blah. It says, Triscuit is baked by electricity. The only food on the market prepared by this 1903, because that's when they were made, process. He goes, in the early 1900s, Triscuits was run out of Niagara Falls. And their big selling point, being baked by electricity. They're the only food on the market baked like this. Look at these lightning bolts. And that's when it clicked. Triscuit means electricity biscuit. <laughs> Wait, do you guys, are you following me? Yeah, I'm not following you. I'm following you. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm reading one of my kids' story <laughs> time the way, books. The way that you're saying it, it's intriguing. I'm listening. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I feel like I'm reading it's the electricity. Car, the it's, Cars movie novel. It's, or something. it's like your um your uh, Watson from um. Who's Watson? My dear Watson. Elementary, my dear Watson. Oh. What's his name? Yeah. What's his name? <laughs> I know Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Basically, guys, oh. these biscuits are baked with electricity. What the hell? <laughs> but you didn't. You didn't. You didn't include the very last thing the very last tweet oh uh, what was it so this guy obviously said he he thinks it's because of electricity like it hits him but then trisket themselves then tweeted him back saying we had to go all the way up the ladder but we can confirm and then they put <gasps> a, a lightning bolt to say that everything you just the research you did is comes out correct like you're right so oh, trisket has also my... confirmed that it's because they were baked by electricity so this guy done all this research and Trisket didn't even know themselves. Didn't even realise. Yeah, he tells them. They're like, oh, let me check that. And they're like, yes, you did it. Oh, my gosh. Where's this Wait. lightning bolt? Where's this lightning bolt? On uh, the Trisket? Th- yeah. Further down the page, March 27th. But do you think that... So obviously that means nowadays they're not baked by electricity. Is this right? No. no or are they still baked by electricity? I, what do you mean baked? They're just baked now. Everything maybe on like... power power line wires. What are you talking about? <laughs> electricity. <laughs> it's electricity. Yeah, is that what they mean? Yeah. What do you think they're on the but line? It's not baked like that. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they put the biscuits on the wires. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, but use the wires to use the electricity. That's what I'm but... saying. I'm confused. What you? I'm confused about what you think. I'm, how they I, use it? Emma was thinking. You meant they put the biscuits on the wires. No, that's what I'm thinking he meant, and that's how they used to to bake them. Like, No, it's not. They used to put them in an electric oven. Oh! Did you really think they put on the lines? Wires. I thought they like were like, I don't know, got two live wires and were like... Zzz, no, like what, what year was that? The, 1903. Yeah, that's why it was impressive. They were using electricity to bake... Oh, no, electricity was... <laughs> Trisket, we bake our cookies but lose a, an employee every time <laughs> <laughs> for electrocution. Guys, I'm so confused now. So you're just saying they were just baked in an oven? Yeah, it, an electric oven. Yeah. It's but not- at the time, that was a big deal. Yes. Yeah.